Let's do it. What's up, Creed? How we doing? Welcome to your Wednesday workout here. Got a pretty simple one for you today. Nothing too complex. Got a little legs, a little core, a little shoulders. Maybe a touch of biceps, we'll see. <laughs> After all those gun hold finishers we've been doing, you never know. Yeah. But so for our workout, we're gonna go straight into it. We got our EMOM by six minutes on part A. So our first movement, we have 10 sit-ups on the ground here. So knees slightly bent, we're tapping those hands behind our head and tapping those hands down by our hips. We wanna stay nice and tall, don't wanna round out when we get to the top of our sit-ups there. So nice, stay nice and tall once we finish our sit-ups. We'll do 10 reps in the 60 seconds, and then once you finish 10 reps, you have max alternating jumping lunges here. So that's how he's jumping nice and high, switching those feet in the air, landing flat foot on the front foot, landing the toe in the back, legs are at 90. If that's a bit too hard or we start to burn out in later rounds, switch to just a reverse lunge. So you're stepping it back, more controlled motion here, a little bit slower, but still getting that work in for the full 60 seconds. So really, Theoretically, no break here. You're going 10 sit-ups, and then the rest of your time is that max jumping lunge, and then after that minute resets, you're back on the ground for 10 more sit-ups. You got six rounds or six minutes there, all right? That's gonna burn. That's gonna burn a little bit, no doubt. Legs will be gasping for air at the end. Part two, we got a net constant AMRAP by 12 minutes here. So try to pace your way all the, through, all the way through for a full 12 minutes of work. We got eight tuck-ups to start with, so we're in that hollow hold pose. Getting those knees to our chest, we're meeting in the middle. So our back will lay flat, our legs will lay flat, and then knees, thighs, and chest will meet in the middle together. If we want to modify this a little bit, we can rest in between each rep instead of holding the hollow poles. You'll, you'll lay your legs in the ground and back in the ground at the same time, and then come back together instead of staying in that hollow hold pose. All right? So after our eight tuck ups, then we have eight hand release push ups. So we'll flip it on over to our stomachs. Once it goes down, elbows at 45, release those hands, take away that momentum, place them back on the ground, or driving straight back up. We want a nice flat body. Imagine your body is a plank of wood. There's no like waves or any divvies or crooked anywhere. It's not where we're warming up. So that low back doesn't come off the ground at the end. Chest, hips, and knees all go together when we push back up. Modification, dropping down to our knees here. We still want to keep that nice, stiff, rigid spine. All right, so those hips and shoulders are in line the whole time. So, part three on the Metcon, so we have 30 double unders and 90 single unders. So it'd be a good time to try to practice your double unders. Not too many here, um, but if we can't do double unders just yet, we have 90 single unders on that back end there. And so we're am wrapping those three movements here, just like that. Loose elbows, loose wrists, keeping our elbows in by our side here. And we're just making nice little bunny hops there. Spice it up a little bit with some double unders if you'd like to. 30 and then 90, all right? So 30 double unders, 90 single unders. That is our 12 minute AMRAP with those three moves here. So we'll be moving pretty quick, shorter reps on those. So you probably only get maybe six to eight, maybe 10 rounds if you're really busting through it. All right, and then our core finisher, we'll go ahead and just go over that real quick. Actually, should we, should we let's do it right before we do we'll it. We'll save it right before the end. So just know that core will be burning at the end there, all right? So for our warm up, starting off with one minute of cardio, you can run or do one of our four cardio options or jump rope. I believe we'll be jump roping here for our cardio option. I think it's a great way to get warmed up. And then we'll go into an AMRAP by four minutes. It's gonna be 12 jumping jacks, 12 lunges, and 12 glute bridges. So no equipment needed if you are not jump roping in the warm up here. Let's do it, baby! We got five minutes on our warm up timer. We'll be rolling in 10. Just going for a minute here in this first part. Three, two, one, here we go. Ready for a little action today. Yeah, put you a put you a little wrestling in jiu jitsu with that. Who that do what? Put you wrestling in jiu jitsu. <laughs> well we got a new we got a new member here at Green named Adam. Have you met Adam yet? Yeah. So Adam's a black belt. He told me about that, I remember. Yeah. I just got I just got done with a jujitsu session. So this is workout number two for me. It's only problems right here is you have to turn <laughs> turn the legs not that big of it. Not too bad. A few more seconds, Cree. You guys can probably see it better than we can right yeah. now. <laughs> I guess normally for them it's not even in the picture. I know. There you go. Three, two, one. Going into a four minute AMRAP here. So these three moves, jumping jacks, we got 12 here. After 
to our 12 jumping jacks. We got 12 reverse lunges here. Step it back, kissing that knee to the ground. One six and six, each leg here. some music on your end. Friendly reminder to turn that on and get it going. Find yourself a good playlist. Got about one more minute here, probably get one more round in. I was getting paranoid on that video. Oh, just about to laugh at that. See, it's going to turn off. There's no check here. No check. Ten more seconds. Finish off these blue bridges here. And three, two, one. Okay. Feel good. Feel warm. All right, so we're going into our six minute EMOM here. It's a fairly short emo, almost like an extended warm up, but it's going to be chock full of work here. Legs will be burning, core will wake up a little bit more here. Alright, so we're getting some ab mats and some yoga mats over here for us. Sure, why not? Be a little, a little softer on the floor there. If you've got one at home, maybe a towel down if you're on the hardwood floor. Make it a little softer on that tailbone. Thank you, sir. And we'll jump into it. So we'll get our timer set up for six minutes. If you would like to set up yours, feel free to, if you have your own timer. Always handy to keep one near. And we got, just a little reminder, we got 10 sit-ups, and then the rest of the 60 seconds, we're up on our feet doing max alternating jumping lunges and or reverse lunges if we can't get those jumps in just yet. All right, so try them out. If it starts bringing us any pain, or we're a little unstable, or we just can't do them yet, Go back to those reverse lunges. But we can try to go three, four, five, if not all six rounds with those jumping lunges today, all right? 
Key word is yet. 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 Don't give in. Keep pushing no. yourself. Try them today. Have fun, little move. All right, so we'll get rolling in 10. First minute coming up. In three, two, one. Here we go. Seven more seconds. Three, two, one. Back to our sit ups. Okay. Ten more seconds, here we go.
Jackie 20. That's that 20. That Jackie 20, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. So, second part is 12 minute AM wrap here. Get that timing set up for us. Hey, the good thing is we don't have any legs. It's all upper body now, a little core and shoulders and chest. tuck-ups into eight hand release push-ups and then 30 double unders or 90 single unders all right so three movements fairly short on the reps here shouldn't take too much time so we should get through maybe six seven eight rounds here I believe would be the number we're looking for all right you ready let's try it let's try it let's try it we're rolling in ten starting off with those tuck-ups ah. find yourself getting frustrated, just drop the rope. Just go invisible, invisible rope, okay? 
Keep that timing down first. Hey guys, one other thing, when you're jumping, make sure that your core is tight. You almost want to hunch over just a little bit. What you don't want to do is this. You want to hyperextend and jump up and down in this position, butt out, belly button out. That's really tough on the lumbar vertebrae, okay? So belly button in, core tight, okay? So remember that. Don't want to look like a wacky inflatable car salesman. No, we don't need to be like that guy. Oh! Surround yourself with people who make you better. See if Andrew hangs out with me long enough, he'll be better at his jumping. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. It's called the law of the inner circle. Who's in your inner circle? About this double edge next round. Throwing off on me a lot. <laughs> Didn't know every October. 
October. Andrew does this thing called Squattober. Is it every day? Five days a week. Five days a week in October. Going to work five days a week. On squats. On squats. Squats five days a week. And other stuff. Catch your breath, get your little water swig. Remember, we got a finisher today, core finisher. Coming right up. Go ahead and grab you a dumbbell if you have a dumbbell. You don't have to have a dumbbell, you can have any kind of, any sort of item will work because all you're doing is taking your feet over that. We'll show you that in just a second. Thanks, sir. Oh, we're gonna stand it up, huh? I like it. Oh, okay, okay. I like it, I like it. Use a water bottle, milk jug, paint can. Put your cat or dog on the ground, tell them to sit. <laughs> for 60 seconds, though, he's there for 60 seconds. Put your cat. 
Sit, kitty. Sit. Right there. Sit, stay. Don't stay. move. Stay. Stay. <laughs> I got a timer set up here. So two sets of this. So essentially four minutes of working, 30 seconds of rest in the middle of those four minutes. Show these real quick. We will go ahead and show these. So Clint will go ahead and he'll show the heel taps of a dumbbell first. So he's just using those hands kind of as balance here. He's not relying on to support his core. His core is supporting his own body weight there. He's balancing that tailbone. Those feet are going over that dumbbell. Trying to keep your heels away from that dumbbell as much as possible. Guys, if that's too hard, just make it lower. Exactly. Just make it lower, okay? Just moving our feet left to right. Nice heel tap on either side. Then we have our flutter kicks. So we've done these before. We're just kicking the air. We're in a hollow hold position. All right. Feet are about six to eight inches off the ground. We're not kicking way up here. We're not kicking all the way down here either. About six to eight inches of a nice foot length kick here. So heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe every time. All right. Does it feel good? Feeling good in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. <laughs> Come on, stop by the neighborhood. We'll be here. So, all right, guys, we'll go ahead and get a timer started. We'll be rolling in 10. So if you've gotten everything ready, come on and join us if not. A few more seconds, and then press play. It's only two sets, gang. That's it. You can do anything for two sets, right? We shall see.
telling you, if you've been if you've been eating right and doing these since quarantine, I'm sure you're starting to see a little, a little two, three, four, six, eight pack, <laughs> sixteen pack, something. Something. All right, guys, kick that right foot up to your left hand. Quad stretch. Get after it, gang. See y'all next hydrate. time. Hydrate. We'll see y'all next time.